So, hello everyone. <clears throat> um, today I'm going to make a video about my about a battery modification that I did to my H100 uh, Logitech headset. Uh, there are already two similar videos online on YouTube. So what is the purpose of this video? Um, well, I, I think I, I have a really nice battery choice. So the battery that I used for my modification, I guess, um, has some advantages about the other two batteries that uh, you can see in the other videos. So I want to show you that. Uh, that's uh, what I'm going to do uh, first. Um, and after that, I'm going to open the headset and show you what exactly I did and how I did it. So the important information for you, I guess, if you already saw the other videos, is the battery that I used. And I'm going to show you that one here. So it's um, it's a battery that is originally for the iPod 3G, third generation iPod. So the the important number is the 6160159. If you search for this number on Amazon or for third generation iPod battery, then you will find this one. It has 850 milliamps, so it's uh, more than three times the battery uh, uh, storage power of the of the original battery. So the original battery has like this 250, uh, 265 milliamp hours. And uh, with this battery in, inside your headset, you uh, you have enough uh, capacity for around 17 hours of uh, of using this headset uh, until you get this. Uh, this uh, annoying battery, uh, low battery signal, and I think 17 hours is more than enough for. A, I mean, you can use it for, like, if you wake up, you can use it until you go to bed again, uh, until you get this battery signal. That should be enough. <coughs> a second advantage is, uh, is it has all uh, also the same connector as the original one. Um, uh, the uh, I guess the battery that you can uh, see in the video of, uh, what was it, Gerizop, he also had a battery with the same connector. Um, and another video that was made by Peter Kirklewski, uh he had to like weld the battery uh, cables into the battery, I guess that's, that's not very nice. Uh, but you have to be... Um, uh, uh, the, as the, the the connector is the same, but the cables aren't connected as as they are connected under original cable. So here, this is the original cable, uh, the original connector, and the cables are um, ordered black, white, red. When you get this battery from your mail, uh, the cable will be cable will be white, black, red. So you have to uh, disconnect the white and the black cable and reconnect them uh, as they are here in the in the original configuration otherwise it won't work you have to reconnect these cables but I will show you that uh, later and I will give you um, a timestamp here in this place in the video so you can go to the uh, to this uh, to the spot in the video to get the information you need so I guess that's everything oh, well uh, another advantage of course is what you can see here I still have room for my USB connector and I really wanted to to keep this USB connector place because I, I like to use it from time to time. So now I want to show you uh, what I did and how I did it. So at first, how do we open the headset? Just get this foam off. And here you have four screws here, here, here and here that we have to get out. For this you need yeah, some simple small screwdrivers. Um, I guess I'll skip some parts, like where I'm screwing out the screws uh, in the video, so you don't have to watch me mess with this headset so much. <coughs> so, uh, when you unscrewed all these screws, you just have to like uh, raise this plastic, you can pull it out a little bit. And yeah, 
just I guess you can also use one of these small screwdrivers to go underneath here and you need some some force to to lift this up but don't worry you won't break anything you just have to worry about these cables there's a connection between the the, um, the speaker and uh, the plastic down here so don't rip it off now I can get this cable out and here you can see everything uh, that is inside here this is the battery now yeah, you can see the size of it it has the same same connector as the original one and here I already uh, I'll, I'll get it out for you okay so you see um, that I already switched the cables um, so it's black, white, and red. Well, you could focus, focus camera. It won't focus, but I guess you see it. Um, what you have to do uh, to to switch the cables, you can like take one of these small flat screwdrivers and uh, just push in uh, to to this plastic to loosen it like lift it up and then you can pull the cable out do this with the black and the white cable uh, while losing the plastic pull them out then switch them pull them uh, back in again and then you need one of these uh, pliers when they are when the cables are in you are, you have to like push the plastic back on again so so it will stay fixed and the cables won't uh, fall out all the time. Well, and that's it. What you have to do with the battery um, here on the headset. What you have to do is you have to cut out the plastic, uh, the original encasing of the of the original battery. I cut out the whole the whole thing around here and uh, here a little bit uh, on this side. And uh, if you do it like this, the battery fits in really nicely. That's what I like about about this mod. You can like put it, uh, push it in here. Oh. <laughs> Wait a second. So, so it's, it fits in really nicely, uh, and you don't have to cut out the the encasing for the USB connector. That is really nice, I guess. Um, to cut out this plastic, yeah, you need some kind of tool. I guess you can see it in uh, in the video of uh, Jellizop. I, I also had the same kind of tool. It's uh, you need a, a diamond cutting tool to do this kind of cutting. Uh, I guess all in all, I worked like one or two hours. I didn't really have a uh, good idea about how I'm going to do it. That's why it took two hours for me. But if you are an effective worker, you I guess the whole thing is done in like one hour, half an hour. Yeah. So when you switch the cables and cut out this plastic, uh, you just connect it to to the headset. Put it in here. And well, well, okay, so then you have to put the cable in place somehow like this. There are these holders for the battery cable should use them so now you can see how I place the cable inside that's basically it and that works and then you yeah then you can put the plastic back in again oh well uh, as you see the the battery uh, goes straight to the edges of the phone and you have this plastic here 
that also goes inside and you also have to cut out some plastic here with the same tool you can cut it with the same tool okay i hope you see it well here i cut out a piece of plastic and also over here i cut out, out a piece, piece of plastic so i can push the plastic down otherwise it wouldn't fit because the battery goes straight to the edges so then i can push it down and as you can see well there are two small locations where you can see that i cut out the plastic but i guess that's okay it's not that bad um, now let's see if i can turn it on yep it works and then just uh, screw it back together and of course make sure when you cut out the plastic don't cut out uh, the the locations where you put your screws in yeah so I guess you can cut out one of those but I guess it's better to to keep all these screws and um, that's basically it oh yes what I forgot to show you that's too bad uh, if you open the open this thing and you want to remove this plastic so you have a better access to cutting out this stuff uh, there are additional screws uh, beneath this thing it just, that you just have to unscrew and then you can take this plastic here off yeah Sorry for missing that, but I guess uh, you will be able to do it. Okay, put the foam back on and that's it. As I said, I really like this modification. The headset was... The only bad thing about this headset was its lifetime. I guess, I guess it lasted like four to five hours until I got the battery uh, notification and that was really 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 bad but with this modification it still has all its features you can put in the plastic uh, the, the USB connector you can screw in the plastic covering it just looks like it looked before and it just lasts longer and that's all you need okay so thank you for watching if you have any questions ask me in the, uh, in the comment sections uh, of course I would Really appreciate a thumbs up on this video if you liked it and have a nice day. Bye.